Hello, my name is Rachel Bongini, and I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube cell biology quiz. You may be asking yourself, why are cells so important? Well, first I'd like to talk about bacteria. Often when people hear of bacteria, they think of pathogens, the fact that bac many bacteria are known to cause disease. However, out of the millions of bacteria out there, this is a very small handful. And actually, there are several species that we would consider beneficial, which inhabit our gut and also the surface of our skin. And it may be hard to believe that something as microscopic as bacteria are crucial environmental regulators. Bacteria are able to produce oxygen if they're photosynthetic. Some species living in our soil are capable of fixing nitrogen into a usable source that plants may utilize. And they, of course, break down decomposing organic matter. Protozoa are another type of single-celled organism, and they form the base of many food webs, especially that of the ocean, forming both plankton and phytoplankton, depending on whether or not they are capable of photosynthesis. Studying protozoa can give us insights into early life on the Earth, and maybe provide clues as to how we became multicellular in the first place. And there are, of course, some species that are parasitic and cause disease in humans, such as the malaria parasite and the parasite that causes African sleeping sickness. Understanding plant cells is important because plants form the base of many food webs since they too are capable of photosynthesis. A byproduct of that process is oxygen, which we breathe, and plants use carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as their carbon source, thereby removing much of this greenhouse gas from our atmosphere. And also, various plants and plant tissues provide valuable natural resources in our lives, from our food crops to lumber to plant fibers that provide us textiles. And lastly, we have animal cells, the basic unit of multicellular organisms. Everything from tiny ants to the massive African elephant are made up of cells which are roughly similar in size. Thus, by understanding how our cells work, we gain better understanding of how our bodies function as a whole. Now some quiz instructions. Please listen and read the questions and responses carefully. When prompted, click on your selection. Selecting the correct answer will move you to the next question and to victory. Selecting an incorrect answer will send you uh, elsewhere in YouTube. Therefore, if you want to get back, click on the back button of your browser and this will take you to the previous question where you can try again. Are you ready to begin? Well then let's go! Question number one. How do bacteria cells differ from animal cells? A. Bacteria have a nucleus, animal cells do not. B. Bacteria have a DNA genetic code, while animal cells have an RNA genetic code. C. Animal cells have a nucleus. Bacteria do not. Or D. Animal cells have a DNA genetic code, while bacteria have an RNA genetic code. 